Hi and welcome to my little demo. I just want to quickly show off a little project I've been working on. Um, basically what it is is uh, you have an Arduino controller, a microcontroller, uh, that's under the hood in the electric box and uh, it's hooked up to a relay module and also I was able to uh, patch into the uh, overhead console buttons here they're not really used uh, for anything these days since I'm not paying the subscription and also I think uh, with this model year I don't even know if this service exists anymore but anyways they weren't used for much to look cool though and I didn't really want to drill any holes to put any other buttons in for any features I, or functions I might want so I thought why not use those um, anyways those are hooked up um, here is uh, Simulink State Flow um, a little program that I uh, just uploaded to the microcontroller. This is a subsystem, this is the main system, so this is like a button logic control. This is the main system, but right now I'm just gonna show this little uh, this little system right here. Basically, this is the, sw the input switches from the overhead console. This is where it gets processed, and this is the relay output. So basically what uh, I want to do, and what should happen right now is uh, I program, this is a momentary push button, so it's not an on-off toggle switch. So Basically, with an on-off toggle switch, what you would usually have, you would have one function. You you push it, it stays on. And you push it again, and it comes off. With the momentary push button, you can have uh, not, you can do nice things, such which which I did right here, such as uh, for example, like you know, a short press or like a long and hold press, which is exactly what I did to see if this actually works. Um, so I uploaded the program, and uh, what should happen is I have the left and the right high beam. Uh, uh, hooked up so that I think let me check the uh, yeah when I hit it the right tie beam should come on like when I just momentary toggle it like click once and uh, when I hold it long press it then the left high beam so com comes on so let's see here's a button so okay that worked turn it back off so this is just one click so if I click it once it comes on if I click it and comes off click once click off one off so now what I can also do is uh, hold it, and I think I program it for half a second, so if I keep pushing it, the right one turns on. Now if I press it again, the left one should come on. There we go. Short press it, left one turns off, turns on. Keep holding it again, white one turns on. And so on. Anyways, very happy that this worked. This uh, basically confirmed my, uh, my little uh, state flow model here. And I'm happy I got this working. Obviously now this is not limited to just doing the headlights or anything. Really you can you know tap into any kind of function in the e-box. Uh, anything you might want. Like uh, uh, what can I think of? Uh, for example you know your sound system or something similar to you know if you want let's say hey you have your engine turned off and you want uh, just your radio and your amps to work you know some, this would be quite handy I would think. Um, anyways uh, thanks for listening. Uh, Thanks for watching.